I'm over in Spain for this trip and behind me here is the, the massive River Ebro, or just a tiny bit of it. Um, I travelled over last night on the plane, flew in Barcelona and uh, I'm with Nick Shattuck this time who guides trips on the river and uh, I always said I'd like to come over and fish with Nick at some stage. Um, I met him over in America a few years ago and uh, you know, he, what I like about Nick is he moves around on the river, he doesn't, he's not based in one area, he goes and finds the fish and uh, that's exactly what we've had to do today. We've literally driven around loads of different areas, areas that he normally likes to fish, which have been unfishable. They've opened the sluice gates at Mechanenza and the water's rushing through, uh, almost impossible to fish. But we found this area here, or Nick knows this area here and he's brought us here and well, basically there's loads of fish here. Um, we've seen fish and heard them jumping all up and down this stretch. There's no one else here, just us. It feels like a million miles away from anywhere. It's absolutely lovely. Um, Going to start fishing very soon. We haven't got the rods out yet, but it won't be long now. Got the baits or the area baited. Um, it looks really good. There's loads of fish here. Whether there's big ones or not, I don't know. At the moment I don't really care, you know, I just want to get a bit of action. Um, but we're here, um, going to start fishing very soon, and there's some fish about, so it's looking good. Nick's put us on the fish, so we're going to see how it goes in the next few hours. Hopefully, we're going to get amongst them. Got a bit more weight to it this one as well. Nice bit of action. <laughs> oh, there he he's is. On the top. He's on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Get to the clip on the side of one onto their back. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's hooked all right. He's hooked in the lip. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Well, like I said we found some fish here, and uh, hasn't been hectic action, but we have we've had three bites now. Uh, and the first one fell off, which I don't know what happened there. One of my dodgy rigs, I suppose. Um, second one didn't get on film, but it was uh, a low mid double, I suppose. But I just had this one, which is. We'll stick his daughter up, but uh, 23 pound. <laughs> He's stiff as a board, this one, but, but a cracking fish. Nice bit of uh, action in the sunshine as well. I was thinking it might just sort of be over for the day and sort of looking forward to later on when we got a chance, and out of the blue, off it goes. So that's brilliant. But um, yeah, lovely Ebro Common. Come on a bit amazed, this one. Got different baits out there, um, but it was amazed that did the trick. So. Who knows, it just shows it can go off any time. Might get another one soon, you never know. There we go, happy days anyway. Right, I'm just changing one over to a few grains of maize for the afternoon. Seems like when it's dark or cloudy, um, boilies and pellets produce in most takes, but in bright sunny conditions like we've got now in the, in the afternoon, it seems like maize Sort of takes over and that's the best chance of a bite so really basic stuff just a simple rig but four grains of maize and a little bit of pop up just to hold it up off the bottom and uh well, we'll see if that does the job
but it's a cold old night. I don't know what it got down to last night, but it was certainly minus something or other. Freezing cold, frosty morning. But um, the carp seemed to like it. They had four bites, landed them all. Um, one about mid doubles, a nice 26, 27, and one real beauty, absolute beauty, 37 and a quarter, which I'm absolutely over the moon with. Because as their bro carp goes, this is far and away my best one so far out the river. Truly wild carp, that's what this fishing is all about. That is a truly wild carp, probably never seen a hook before, never been caught. And uh, well, we were seeing some good fish yesterday and you know, this is proof of the pudding that there's good fish out there. So we're gonna get a bit more bait out there today and hopefully see a few more like this and, and who knows, maybe something even bigger. But to be honest, you know, this is the icing on the cake of the trip already for me. Um, if I don't catch a bigger one than this, I'll go home with a big smile on my face because this is lovely. And in a way, it's what I come out here for, you know, to experience the fishing and, and catch some of these wild carp but always with the hope of, uh, I suppose the hope was getting a 35 plus and like I say 37 and a quarter so done it in style, that is absolutely lovely. But it has quietened off a little bit here. We've not seen so many fish uh, the last sort of half a day or so. But um, we still had three bites this morning. Um, two smaller ones and one, which is an absolute cracker, this one, which is, again, the best one of the trip so far, 39 pound. To be honest, it really looked like it was gonna be a 40. I thought it was gonna be a 40, but it's a little bit short, 39 pound, but I'm not complaining about that. Another absolutely gorgeous fish. I mean, they are absolute stunners, these fish. Been well impressed with the look of them. And uh, as soon as I hooked it, you know, you could just tell it was a better fish. The smaller ones tend to dart about all over the place and bang the red. And uh, this was a bit more of a slow plodder. So I sort of guessed it was a better fish. And sure enough, it was. And what a cracker, eh? I'm so happy with this one. Um, but it's not over yet, you know. There's a chance of even bigger ones, but you know, at the moment, I'm one happy man with this one. trip it could have been an easily been a trip that went very wrong the sluice gates were open all up the river and uh, it's gushing through most of the bits are actually unfishable what we looked at luckily enough uh, Nick had a, a few tricks up his sleeve and he, he had this little spot here which was fishable and uh, there's plenty of fish out here ended up with 19 fish uh, a couple of big roach in the chub as well but um, well happy with that 19 fish up there So let's get on and uh, see you next time.